She lives in. She lives in. She lives Let's wash this hair. I'm starting off with a five day old wash and go that was pre rinsed in the shower. I wore slick back styles for about three days in a row, so I do have more product buildup than usual. I find that rinsing my hair before applying product helps with loosening up buildup, detangling, and product application before going in with my shampoos and pre poos. I'm loosely sectioning my hair so that I can go in with my detox pre-wash rinse by Red Air. My main focus is breaking up the product buildup so I am applying the rinse to the shaft of my hair and my scalp. I do not use any detangling tools during this process, just my fingers to lightly distribute the product. Since I did use a lot of gel for those slick back styles, I am adding more emphasis on the perimeter of my hair and massaging my scalp. This is what my hair looks like with the pre-wash rinse fully applied and now I'm going to rinse it out in the shower. This is my hair after rinsing out the pre-wash rinse. Now I'm going to wet my hair with my spray bottle then follow up with the cleansing oil shampoo by Revair. stingy with my products I'm actually pretty heavy-handed so I am applying a liberal amount of shampoo to each section using my fingers to detangle I know some people prefer to wait until they condition their hair to detangle but in my opinion a nice quality shampoo will provide enough slip for light detangling before you condition your hair This is my hair with the shampoo fully applied.
This is my hair after rinsing out the shampoo. I'm going back in with my spray bottle so that I can apply my step two wash and go conditioner by Curl Mix. This is my first time trying this product, so the berry scent was a pleasant surprise. But I'm going in with a liberal amount to each section, using my fingers and my tangle teaser to distribute and, of course, detangle. I'm twisting each section because I am using this product as a deep conditioner and I'm going to repeat the process all over my head. After the conditioner is applied, I put my hair in a plastic cap and let it sit for about 25 minutes. Curl Mix recommends letting the conditioner sit for at least 5 minutes, but no more than 1 hour before rinsing. I'll be spending my 25 minutes sitting under the dryer. This is what my hair looks like after rinsing out the products. My hair looks and feels very hydrated compared to what I started with. Check out my next video to see how I styled it. Thanks for watching.